What's up guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about three ways that you can go out and start living more intentionally. See, the world that we live in today is so go, 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 right? There's so many different things going on. Our attention is being pulled in so many different directions. And as human beings, it becomes really easy for us to kind of just move into a state of autopilot to start just doing things because that's just what we do. Whether it's going to work, whether it's inside of our relationships, with our health, humans are creatures of habit. And so in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some practical ways, some applications that you can start doing to start living more intentionally. And so let's talk about why is it important to live with intention? Well, intention, let's take a step back, and we've talked about this before, but intention is nothing more than a declared outcome in a situation, right? In every moment of our life, we are presented with infinity. We have the, the opportunity to really do anything, to spend our time in any way we can imagine. And if we're not living intentionally, meaning consciously choosing how we want things to unfold and the direction of our life to go, then we become victims of autopilot. And when we're living in autopilot, then we're really in a reactive state. We're operating based on the past, right? We're, re we're letting the brain, we're letting the nervous system sort of just go uh, in accordance with what's happened in the past. And so by living intentionally, what we're doing is we're connecting to the present moment and we are consciously choosing what we want our life to look like. And so why is this important? It's important because if you want your life to be more successful, if you want to enjoy your life more, if you want life to unfold in the ways that you want it to, then living intentionally is very, very important. And so let's look at, you know, the first thing. And so the first thing is to live more intentionally, it's important that you're clear on the things that you want to unfold in the key specific areas of your life that are important to you. And so let's look at some of the key areas that you actually want to get clarity on so that you can actually go out and live more intentionally. So we have your health, your career, your relationships, we have finances, travel, um, hobbies, um, knowledge, anything that you wanna learn, um, and then family, right? All these things are incredibly important and they, are, they make up key areas of your life. And so if you're not clear on what you want out of those things, then it's gonna be very difficult for you to actually go out and live with intention and to actually go out and create the life that you want. And so one thing that I recommend is getting a planner, right? If you're not journaling, this is an incredibly powerful exercise that's gonna allow you to gain a lot of clarity in your day-to-day -day life, but as, as well as allowing you to uh, really get clarity on some of the longer term things that you're trying to, trying to set out and build. And so on this planner, right, whether you're writing in it daily, what you wanna do is you wanna write out all of those key areas and you just kinda wanna write a couple bullet points under each one, right? Whether you're being intentional about what you want your week to look like or your year to look like, being able to actually create buckets in your life and to actually go in and start looking at, okay, these are the key areas and the things that are important to me. And you know, within each of those buckets, what is it that I wanna create? What do I want my life to look like in those key areas, And right? So let's say if we're looking at a career, you might write three to five bullet points about what you wanna accomplish that year, some of the things that maybe you wanna eliminate, some of the things that you wanna move and grow into, revenue goals, whatever it might be. And so that way you have some clarity around the career aspect of your life. If we're looking at health or fitness, um, right? talking about and, and including, you know, how you want to move your body, what type of exercises you're going to be doing, you know, what type of diet or lifestyle you're going to be adhering to. And so these are all critically important when it comes to being able to live more intentionally is looking at the key areas and buckets of your life and then creating an outline. And it, it doesn't have to be fancy, just creating an outline as far as like having some bullet points so that you have a, have a direction that you're aiming for. And then as you're looking at these things, there's some key questions you wanna ask yourself, right? The quality of your life is determined by the quality of the questions that you ask. So if you're asking really good questions, there's a really good chance that you're gonna be able to move in a good direction. And so a simple question to ask is, you know, what would my perfect day look like, right? 
knowing what your perfect day looks like allows you to start aiming for that and shooting for that. In fact, I was on a coaching call last week and I had a client who jumped on the call with me. He said, hey, I really want to up optimize my Sundays and make, make sure I'm getting the most out of it. You know, what would you recommend? And so the first thing I did is I asked him to outline, well, what are you currently doing, right? Let's look at your current baseline. And then I asked him, what would your perfect Sunday look like, right? Imagine there was no restrictions, there was nothing stopping you. What would that perfect Sunday look like? and he outlined that and to be honest it wasn't that far off from what he was already doing and so by having that clarity you can go in and start actually aiming and shooting for that and really that's the biggest part of intentions is having clarity right in the key areas that are important to you a couple more questions that you could ask are you know what would the perfect quarter look like right the, the next 90 days of your life and then also you know what would the perfect year look like and as you start breaking your life down into all those buckets, then it's gonna be much, much easier to have clarity around those things. Cool, so now that we've kind of set a framework and a baseline, let's look at three practical ways that you can actually start living more intentionally using some tools and strategies that, uh, that we use inside of Wake Up Wealthy um, and one that I've actually created for myself. And so the first one is called a personal manifesto. Personal Manifesto is a living, breathing document of all of your goals, all of your intentions, and everything that you are planning to create and set out to build. And this can contain pretty much anything and everything. And the goal here is to go through this on a regular basis. I do it on a daily basis, but also keep in mind that it's a living, breathing document so that this thing can actually change over time as you change, as you evolve, as you grow, as you accomplish things. And so having a personal manifesto is really, really important if you wanna be able to actually move with intention um, and really direct your life in accordance to what it is that you wanna actually build. And so this personal manifesto can be on a Google Doc, it could be you know, just in a journal, it's totally up to you. And so the second way to live more intentionally is to actually journal on a daily basis. It's part of the morning routine inside of Wake Up Wealthy, and it's an incredibly powerful practice that allows you to get clarity on the things in your life. And there's so many different ways to go about it, right? A lot of people ask, you know, what should you be journaling in your journal? And really it's an open book. Some of the things that I like to journal about and what we journal about inside Wake Up Wealthy here are things that you're grateful for, uh, plans that you have for the day, maybe the three or four big rocks that you plan on completing. And so journaling is another powerful way to live more intentionally. And then last but not least, a really powerful exercise that we implement inside of Wake Up Wealthy here is called the Reflect and Project. And so what's the Reflect and Project? It is a document that you fill out on Sunday that allows you to go through step-by-step -step everything that you completed on the previous week, right? So that you can really get clarity on what it is that you did, how you spent your time, what you accomplished, and maybe where you came short. And then the second half of the document is projecting out for the following week. And this allows you again to get clarity on what it is that you're gonna accomplish, how you plan on spending your time, any big goals or rocks that you have. And what this allows you to do is really take time on Sunday to slow down so that you can reflect and again, project on the things that are important to you so that you're moving consciously in the right direction. And again, the entire premise of this video is to live more intentionally. And so we do that simply by slowing down and having clarity on what it is that we're doing, right? Pulling away from that normal day-to-day -day autopilot sort of zone that it becomes so easy to fall into and moving with intention. And so to recap, if you wanna live more intentionally, the goal here is to simply slow down. And by slowing down, naturally, we're gonna get ourselves out of autopilot, we're gonna become more conscious, and we wanna create more clarity around the things that are important to us so that we can move forward in our life with a clear sense of direction, doing things that are important to us and eliminating the things that are not as important. So if this video was helpful, like and subscribe, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video.